fire aligned perfectly with the candle and then she is wearing a red dress and the candle was red like I'm sorry I just I get really passionate about things when they transition well and that was so well thought out hey hey hey! it's Tajane and I hope that you all are having a fantastic day welcome back to stage and sound spectacle or welcome to stage and sound spectacle if it's your first time here hi my name is Tajane Turner and I am an actress based in Los Angeles California I have over eight years of professional auditioning and performance experience and during my free time I like to shine a spotlight on your favorite musicians and share my favorite highlights and moments from the lens of a performing artist so if that sounds interesting to you please don't hesitate to dance on over to that subscribe button give it a little tappy tap it really helps me out when you like comment subscribe and share and um, today we are going to be watching the sheesh music video by baby monster now I've heard a couple of like mixed reviews about this a lot of people hate the chorus um, is what I've heard just from like little glimpses of TikTok. they're saying like the song is really good until you get to that point point. Um, and I did see the end of the baby monster survival show I guess um, is what you would call it and so I do know a couple of the members I just watched like the the group announcement and then the performance that led up to that so I do know that they didn't have a member that debuted I do not know how to pronounce her name I thought it was ah oh, yeah I don't know I don't know the pronunciation so apologies in advance for my you know mispronunciation but um, I do know that she is in this music video so that's really exciting and um, I'm excited to see it I'm excited to see who I remember from the little tidbit that I saw like three weeks ago my memory's not the best so forgive me in advance um, but yeah, I do know the song's name is Sheesh. I did do a reaction to Baby Monsters Stuck in the Middle, but at the time, I did not know anything about them. A lot of you guys were a little upset with how I reacted to the music video because I was commenting on the fact that they had a lot of similarities to Disney princesses in terms of theme, and you guys were like, why aren't you talking about the music? Why aren't you talking about the vocals? So I will do more of that this video, but I do focus on a couple of different things. A lot of the symbolism, I focus on the cinematography. I'll try to focus on the vocals, the dancing, and any other details that stand out to me, but because it's essentially like a music video reaction and I like to go in depth, there will be pausing, um, so forgive me. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop on into the sheesh reaction. And if you guys have not already, please don't forget to subscribe. Again, I also have a Patreon down below if you guys want to see the fully uncut reaction because last time my baby monster video got copywritten, so I will be cutting out a lot. Just letting y'all know now. Or maybe I won't, we'll see. Depends on how much I'm talking. Without further ado, let's get on into it. Um. Why does it feel like there's no sound? Also, why are there branches in these windows and then there are creepy hands that look like branches but are really like creepy hands and nails? It's giving Coraline, it's mother's hand, you know? It's giving Mother Gothel. Flower, gleam, and glow. Da -da -da -da. The first two chords literally are already scary, already like creepy, the hands, right? Da -da -da. Baby, I'm a monster. Even the trees in the back look like that. That's actually really creative. I kind of appreciate that. And then she says, "Baby, I'm a monster." Like, okay, we're 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 clearly paying a lot of attention to details because there are things that are symbolic that align with what we're already doing with movement. And I'm assuming this is going to be in the choreography a lot because it's being thrown into the back of every scene. But let's see what happens. <laughs> Mono and Mono, I see you in slow-mo. Okay, so we're about to have a face-off, right? Hold on. So, I was wondering, I was like, okay, there's like branches on this maze map, right? Why does it say sheesh on the top? They're paying attention to details, they're not just putting stuff together, even the little symbol in the back kind of resembles the maze. I can read you like a book anyway. I loved that. I love how the candle lit up and then the fire erupted right after that. That was cool. Oh, and then the transition from the eye to her physical eye. Why are they paying that you guys attention to details? There's eyes in the back of the shot. The fire aligned perfectly with the candle and then she is wearing a red dress and the candle was red, like, I'm sorry, I just, I get really passionate about things when they transition well, and that was so well thought out. Like, you can tell there was a script, and they were like, okay, the red candle transitions to the red dress, and the flame transitions to the fire in the entire, you know, I love that. And the 
Red Riding Hood because we're going along with the creepy theme with the hands, which could also be like scratching like werewolves. Am I, am I, is that a stretch? Is it a stretch? Got them all going. Shish, shish, shish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I see what they meant saying that it had a really steady, beautiful buildup that was giving like, oh my god, it's about to be like a banger, and then it gets to the chorus, and then you hear sheesh. It, just, it doesn't seem like it matches the theme. Like, why are we saying sheesh? I don't dislike it. Like, it's hard hitting. I love a hard hitting number, um, but it, it doesn't seem like it matched the buildup. We're talking about like books and we're fighting and mano a mano sheesh seems like a very modern term to throw into all of the like really poetic lyrics that are already happening so maybe that's the modern twist but i, I don't know what do you guys think that's cute that's cute that was cute that was cute and the girl in the back smiling cute Cute. This is Chiquita, right? I like her. She's got like sass and energy. I love her facial expressions. I love how when it's her turn, she's not afraid to be like really sassy and out there. Um, kind of like Lisa from Blackpink. I, I know, I know everybody's gonna get mad, like we're not supposed to be comparing them to Blackpink, but I see similarities. Um, but also I saw how she was in the little bit of the baby monster survival show that I saw, and she's like super cute and sweet because she's their magne, right? So it's just, it's cool to see that she's so vibrant and expressive in the music video. Yeah, hold on. Shh, Ooh, yeah. This is, oh god, please no. Is this Rura or Asa? I feel like this is Rura, right? The, the rapper, her, and um, Aya, oh gosh, I should have looked up how to pronounce her name first, I'm sorry guys. Um, are the rappers, right? Okay. <laughs> I prefer An Ayoung's voice more with singing than I do rapping. I think it's because when I hear rapping, I prefer to hear a lower register. Um, only because like my ears are really sensitive when it comes to like hard hitting sounds. And so I'm not trying to critique at all, but I feel like if her voice, like if she rapped in a lower register, it would be more powerful, but her voice is so high. it gives a different feel than Rora's does you know what I mean but I love her voice when she sings like I find it so impressive because she I'll get to it I'm sure she'll sing at some point and then I can talk about it but yeah we love the alternating shells in the back like she's wearing black she's wearing white and the shells are even alternating in color that's really creative you know what it is, stop it, run it is, pull up. <laughs> who's this I didn't know she was in the rap line is this Asa cute <laughs> I like her rapping actually a lot. Okay, why does Miss Girl get a flower? Everybody else is getting eyes. I don't know what it is about. This is Rami, right? She just gives me like main vocal. Okay, well, I know she has to be somewhat of main vocal because I saw, again, at the end of the survival show and. Miss Girl was hitting some soulful and powerful high notes like it was nothing. So I'm not surprised. I think she leaves the most impact on me when performing. Like I'm just like, she, this is her show in my head. And look at, look at her. She's just like literally dripping with talent. Dripping with talent. Hey, cute. I, it's cute. I like it. I just wish the lyric wasn't she. Ooh, not bad. I like that part. Okay. I love her face. She's so cute to me. She's just what a cuteness aggression. We keep getting a lot of hand like vibes in this video. Oh, I thought I saw bats being like shown against the wall in the background, but maybe not. Maybe it's just the branch shadows. But I mean, it is mystical. I wouldn't be surprised if they were trying to make bats too. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. Halloween on the Ooh, this is what I'm talking about. 
her higher register, it sounds so like young and fresh because of like how high it is. But also I grew up singing. So being able to sing in falsetto like that, because normally it would be like, fly away, right? She's using support on a falsetto note with full power. Fly away. I cannot do it. I will not even attempt to do it because I will probably break everybody's eardrums. But like the power that you can achieve with falsetto she just makes it seem so easy and i just i don't hear a lot of voices like that so it's really impressive especially in like older um she's not old but like in girls who are like above the age of like 12 13 i like i'm like i barely hear them use that register much and she just does it like it's nothing like she belts in her falsetto like how do you do that this is crazy I'm not gonna do it. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Baby, I'm a monster. I like the. the <laughs> oh, okay, we're getting portraits. We're getting mystical portraits too. I love the outfit switches. I mean, okay. I do think they intended to have it be the mystical build up and then the modern sheesh because they're mixing these really modern day outfits with the old vibe. So. <laughs> But you see, this gives like Wednesday Adams, Tim Burton vibes in terms of like the dark, mystical energy. Everything from the outfits to the black and white to the little pops of like slight color. I feel like Mother Gothel is literally trying to snatch her. We even got webs. It's so creative. Maybe it had some inspiration from Coraline too because it's giving a lot of similarities to that. But that's also just dark, like Tim Burton, you know? Does this sound not sound like a spooky anthem? Like Halloween? Like it's giving Monster High. <laughs> Get it, girlies. Okay. I kind of liked it. And then we even wrapped it up at the end with a maze. And not the letters kind of looking like a maze too. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I liked the music video. Overall, I really appreciate the amount of effort that went into it. I know I didn't talk much about the vocals aside from Rami and Aya Young. Um, the dancing I didn't discuss much on, but I, I try to save my dance commentaries honestly for like live performances and whatnot because that's when I'm assessing singing and I'm assessing dancing the music video is more to capture like those tiny little details that um you know I like to put together and try to figure out like why it relates to not only the song but to like the outfits and to the overall vibe so I hope that you guys liked my interpretation I hope that you guys had a good time with me and um let me know what other things that you guys want to see as always I will have my patreon and the subscribe button down below if you want to see more and uh the fully uncut reaction will be on patreon and I will be here again with another video next week let me know what other things you guys want to see whether it be from baby monster I got my first official k-pop album it is an anteen album because you guys know I had to support, first of all, because I are just I'm obsessed with so many of the boys in this group. Um, and then also, my man K is getting so much disrespect right now, and I will not tolerate it. So, um, I had to show my support. I have a second album coming, and um, I like that it was pink. I got it. Not because it was pink, but I got it because I love them. I love the teenies, and um, yeah. Maybe I'll get a Baby Monster album soon. We will see if they make my alt list. I'm brand new to K-pop. It's been a good three months, four months now. Um, so I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out what I like. I'm still figuring out um, like my ultimate groups and my ultimate biases in groups. So please be patient with me. Feel free to educate me in the description box. Oh, I love when you guys let me know things that I was wrong about or let me know um, more things to get to know the members better. And yeah. Uh, I love you all so, so much. I will see you in the next video and lots of love. Bye! Everything. 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 Everything.